Hey guys, it's um, your favorite accountability coach, Marlia Brian Hall, and I'm hanging with my husband. And it's Manny. I don't have no cool name like you have. Oh, uh-huh, baby, it's okay. You're still cool. Your favorite business coach. Oh, I love I it. I like that. You are my favorite business coach. Could I say that? You can definitely say that, baby. I love that. Okay. So, hey, you're, the, you're the favorite hey, accountability coach, and I'll be your favorite business coach. Yes. That's it. I love it. Cool. Baby, I missed you today. I missed you too. You didn't even come home. What time did you come home? Almost 9 o'clock tonight? Yeah, I had some uh, a meeting that I thought was going to be like an hour with Nicole. Hey, Dex, your sister. Um, But it ended up uh, lasting like three hours. But very productive meeting. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Um, I had a productive night as well. I was rocking out super hard on Instagram. I saw your live as I was getting in the Facebook. car and going home. Were you proud of me? Yes, because I screenshotted the thing. I didn't send it to you, but you had 10 people on there. I was like, that's what's up. That is all God. I'm so thankful. I Women are getting free, and I'm really excited to be a part of this. I know, right? You um, You really do help people, babe, and I'm really proud of you. And um, before I met you, I really wanted somebody that was like a leader in the community, that loved God, that was like trying to help people. And I got it with you. So I'm very thankful. That's funny because I actually was praying. And this is when I had Mari and Mir Mir. Uh-huh. But um, when I was just really believing that God would send me somebody so amazing that would be able to love all of me. Right. I prayed that me and him would be able to help change lives together. Uh-huh. I always saw me and my husband doing some like, I don't know, out here looking like Martin Luther King and his wife. Like, I don't know, just changing the whole world, changing the game. I used to envision Babe, that. I'm about to tell you something's about to be real, real crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? So you know before we did this live like this, right? And we were just talking about God using us to do some crazy stuff that's like brand new, right? Mm-hmm. We're about to do podcasts. Podcasts? What? Yep. Wait, you just made this up right I now? Just, I, the Lord just gave me this. No lie. Who like, has time Everybody to make that's a listening to this, you heard y'all about to make it me work. first because <laughs> I just told y'all, y'all have never heard nobody else say this. I'm telling you for the first time tonight, this is why God wanted us to do this. So like we can this. Do a podcast? So that you people could understand that. <laughs> I love Anita. She look, is so cute. So hey, the, Trinita, so, look, hey, so that people can understand that you can have your own podcast show. The only reason that people want to do a podcast is because they know it's popular. People will listen in. And they can drive and they can be doing their stuff, but they don't have to pay attention to the video. So true. So now people can do a live video without anybody seeing them. And they can call this their home podcast. Somebody else could log in. They don't have to see them either. And you can treat it like a podcast. So that while you running, you working out, you just listening to the show. Are you saying actually do it on Facebook and Instagram? Yes. Or... I'm saying something totally different. Like y'all going to see, probably in the next three to six months, everybody's going to be doing this. Doing exactly what we're doing right doing now. Doing exactly what we're doing right now. In this is a dark, podcast. The people that want out. a podcast, they can have their camera off. Whatever kind of pack podcast you want to do, and every single day you got a new show. On Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. That's how you think, baby. You want to do that? I'm probably going to do it. You going to do it with me? Yep. So I'll have people, different guests on there. But anyway, you like that? See, I'm not tripping there. See? Watch <laughs> everybody do it. <laughs> Y'all heard me talk about it first. Well, hey, Verche, how are you? How about you do this? Maybe I went to school with Verche. I know you did. You told me that. I believe so. Okay. Aw. Crystal said, yes, 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 yes. So how about hey, this? Nicole. You came up with something on the spot. We mm-hmm. should make a commitment to do something like this on a weekly basis. With Our everybody. own podcast. Together, me and, me and you. Manny and Marlia. Yes, Hall. and they tune in. But maybe we can tell them. Um, 
Maybe we could call it our own show, like whatever we call it. Mm -hmm. And then we can tell them in advance what it's going to be about. Aw, Nicole, you are so sweet. Uh, thanks, Nicole. You are so sweet. You are killing it. Hey, no, that is dope. I really love that, babe. So we'll like say, so babe, this week on whatever, Lightweight, whatever, whatever. Lightweight, can't nobody steal my idea because I got it recorded and I said it. Tonight. We got to save it. What if we have no memory on our phones? That'd be nuts. That would be so funny. <laughs> but you're doing it on Facebook, so Facebook yeah, always. <laughs> no, yeah, we good. Same thing. That would be so nice. That would be. And this is how the Lord works, y'all. Listen, listen, because I like talking to Jesus. Y'all know I like to talk to God. So I've been seeing a lot of couples on Instagram doing stuff. And I feel like my husband and I have all these conversations that we know can help people, like from our all the things we learn as singles, being celibate, things you learn from your divorce, mm -hmm. me being the single mom, how we came together as a blended family, lots of child support, learn how to right. create businesses, well, whatever. Like God has really just done a major thing and we can really share these life lessons with everybody from singles to married people to people who want to make money and get free. Like there's a lot of things that we can do together. I I've been it. telling the Lord I want to work with you, it. baby. Mm -hmm. I want to work with you too. If for y'all that can't see, she just gave me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> She's so silly. Um, but for real, for real, y'all, like, I know it probably seems totally strange and weird to be listening to a Facebook Live video. It does. But y'all still listening because you really feel like I don't need to see your face. But I'm telling y'all, this is the way God works, y'all. So if you continue to stay open to him, he going to give you ideas. He's going to bless you with money. He's going to open up opportunities. He's going to give you the money that you need to start your business, to run your business. Like, Vershay, I don't know what kind of stuff you're doing right now with your life, but hopefully you got a business and you're doing your thing because even back in the day, you were so smart. You had so much love and support inside your heart even back then, and we was young. So I know you still got something inside of you. She's um she's on the path to really changing her life. She's been praying and uh -huh. getting her freedom on. Yeah. She's about to do all the things. That's dope. That's dope. And Nicole, babe. She's I'm taking over. I already know you, you told me. I'm you telling you. Hey, Nicole, so Manny was talking about you tonight and he was just like, Man, she 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 you on it. You are on it. He came home saying that you're handling business and he really likes what you're seeing. So I don't know what you've been doing, probably talking to Jesus, um, but we're proud of you, Nicole. We're so very proud of you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, Jay, we're not doing the... Uh, so Jay Floyd that's on Facebook right now, he said, uh, I thought y'all were doing a couples in the dark video. Uh, <laughs> couples in the dark. <laughs> no, so... You know, the Lord dropped this idea for me to record this live video. Wow, I was trying to go to bed. Yeah, right. She was trying to go to bed in the dark so you don't have to see us, but then opening it up like it's a podcast and you're just listening. <laughs> Nicole Nicole from Facebook said that she loves us and she's crying. Oh, you so sweet, girl. You going to the top. And she about to give us $500,000. No, she didn't say that. What? I Nicole received. from Facebook, if you get that 500000 please send it this way. <laughs> you ain't got to come to the house and mail it. You ain't got to put nothing on the envelope. <laughs> you can just, just just call me and say, I'm here. If it's Columbus, I'm coming there right there to get that money. Hey, um, Rache says sure she's working, but oh, Rache, I want you to answer working. this question right here on the yeah, spot, babe. Right. Are you ready? Am I ready for what? This question I'm about to ask you. Okay. Let's just say... You get the 500000 How would you flip it? Tell me all the ways you would make that money. Babe, make money. you flip it like drugs? I don't sell drugs, babe. babe. I'm That's not saying, saying flip it like drugs, but you know what I mean. <laughs> flip it, baby. Make your money, make money. How would you, what would I you know, do with $500,000? But the way you coming at me about it, I feel like you want me to get some drugs <laughs> and flip it. Like, I feel pressure. <laughs> like, you're like, go get the, uh, babe, I feel like you're like, you got to flip it. You can, what you going to do? You can, gonna flip it or not like, what are you gonna do with it i'm like i feel intimidated <laughs> i need to like chill whew. out i need to chill out whew. okay so uh, hey babe <laughs> what would you do with five hundred thousand dollars okay that's better <laughs> all right so the christian thing to say 
is I'm going to pay my tithes first. But I'm not sure if that's the first thing that's going to come to my head at that time. I definitely want to pay my tithes. I definitely want to get, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be thinking about that right at that very moment. So the first thing I probably do, this is going to sound crazy. You go laugh. I want to probably go to Red Lobster. What? Ugh, babe. babe I like Red no. Lobster. You be sleeping on Red Lobster. Uh, I know you think it's nasty, but uh, it's not nasty, babe. I'm going to go to Red Lobster. And then what I'm going to do after that is I probably sat there and ate enough shrimp. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be like, all right. <laughs> I do need to bless the Lord now. I gotta bless the Lord. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna give. Now, here's the thing, though. When people always say like, <laughs> you get all this money, you go, you gotta bless the church. Is it one church? Is it fifteen of the churches? Or do I pick every church in America? And be like. And all of y'all get at least five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so what what do I do? Well So here's what I think. Maybe we could Oh, she just kissed me, y'all. <laughs> so maybe what I'll do, babe, is I'll say a couple churches get something, but I give to people that actually need it and not just the church. I but I'm still giving to that. God. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, we are the church. Wherever we go, we are the church. So if you do um, give to a person, that is given to the church. But that's crazy, baby, because that was actually my desire. I said, oh, I would just love to invest it in people and people's businesses and their ideas and them getting out of debt and stuff like that. Um, right. And you looking at the thing. I was looking at you in the dark like I could see you, babe. Like full blown. I see your face. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So Jay trying to clown me. He said, um, so, um, Jay from Facebook, y'all said, Manny going to burn 500 stacks on some overcooked seafood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just sounds uh, terrible. That's a, oh. All right, anyway, y'all. So oh. I do like Red Lobster. I'm not going to lie. And it's really good to me. And I feel like y'all sleeping. So anybody out there that's trying to get on Real Lobster, they making the a Lord, comeback. The Lord wants more for you than Real Lobster. <laughs> Praise him. I agree with that. In Jesus but you know, name. it's not even that Real Lobster is cheap, babe. I just think it's really good, though. Mm, you the only one. You and see, y'all one. probably went to some really ghetto Real Lobster. So. That's all that's around So the, for here. people in Cleveland, if you keep going to that one in Beachwood, <laughs> that Beach, boy tired, man. Beachwood, what, Graham and Akron, they all tired. <laughs> all of them are so tired. Anyway, somebody, who coming up with the, the next version of the best, uh, better than Red Lobster? Somebody, we'll invest. We'll invest. All right, what, all right, tell me, y'all, what seafood places should I go to? <laughs> Since y'all trying to clown me on the Real Lobster, where should I go? In Cleveland, if y'all know, or anywhere, so we can travel anywhere. What's that place, uh, Papa Do's? Papa Do's in Cincinnati? I thought there was I one never ate here, that. too. That's or that Parallax? Parallax? Know. Something, Parallax. You something. thinking Polaris and Columbus? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Are you thinking of Polaris? This is what talking about. There's a seafood po- poly poly hot. Like what? Poly hot. You said confidently like it was real. Man, what I'm saying is real. I just that's not it. That's not it. I don't remember. Nicole from Facebook says she's gonna cook a seafood boil for us. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, What's a please. seafood boil? Any, I just like when people cook for me. I'm so thankful. I love when people cook for me. What what is it though? I wanna know. I never had Boy, that. Seafood on Lee Road. It was pretty good. Oh, Lee Road. Okay. I don't know them, but I like I still like um is it sharks? But babe, Shark doesn't have good French fries. Anybody been to Sharks Man, on Lee Road? They don't have good French fries. Fries. They so be terrible. tired sometimes, babe. <laughs> Boy, you ever seen that French fry look like it's walking with a limp? Like, <laughs> just like it's, it's not long. It just and... stank. Just, just real <laughs> stiff. French fries look like they stank. <laughs> 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 That's good, Trevor. You wild, babe. 
You said the like, you said the French fry looked like a steak. It, it was just stinking still. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. Yeah, sharks did go down. That's uh, mm-hmm. pickle bill. You that's the happened? seafood place. Pickle pickle bill. I'm guessing. So. I've never been there. That's an interesting name. And he says, but he love all the nasty food. <laughs> Plead your blood, Jesus. Oh, she can do it gosh. all. Now she should be a comedian. Oh, uh, thanks, Nicole. She says, Sharks, real last week. Good night, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nicole, Verche from Instagram is clowning me too, so y'all must be fans or something. I don't know. That is not That's even not cool. cool. That's not even cool. I'm getting sleepy, though. I guess I'll sleep. Here. I'm not gonna sleep here. You said you're not hey, gonna sleep. Hey, I do want to tell you though that you you're will. doing really good with your business. Oh, thank and you. And I want you to keep working hard. Now, here's something that I noticed though. Yes. You're not engaging enough. I can, I can, I can you take. You definitely that. need to um, start interacting with people that you don't know, mm-hmm. that haven't been exposed to you, mm-hmm. and show love, like on Facebook and Instagram. I know you don't like being on Facebook, but got to try to use it more and everybody else on instagram land it felt like i hate facebook facebook's still raw mm. and mm-hmm. verse i don't want to hear nothing if whatever you about to say verse don't even say it. i don't even want to hear it <laughs> but it's facebook is still raw i love it and i will consistently use it so babe please spend a little bit more time there i will definitely I want to say thank you Uh for just taking the time always to look over my business and give me suggestions and ways that I can change things or implement new practices. Y'all, he created an entrepreneur. There was not a bit of a boss inside of me a year ago, and now I'm just, I'm going hard. I'm going really hard, hard enough to be able to stay home full time, and it's a blessing. Yeah, for sure. It's a blessing. I'm so proud of you. Probably too bad. All right. Love you guys. See you soon. Or talk to you soon. Talk to y'all soon. Be on the lookout for whatever this thing is. Yeah. Peace. (laughs)